Hello everybody, I'm back at Guitar Summit 2019. Very happy to be with Ignazio from Italy, also from B&G Guitars. Hello everybody, I hope you have, are enjoying the show coverage. We are greatly enjoying the show, it's been a very, very good show for us. Lots of people, lots of interest, and we're having a, a large amount of new stuff to show. So yeah, we're very, very happy. Cool. Is this your first Guitar Summit? It's Well, as B&G, yes, it's the first Guitar Summit, so it, it was a, a kind of a new experience for us. Uh, I personally have done more all, all of the Guitar Summits before, and I always keep on seeing the show growing year after year, so it's a great, great feeling. B&G Guitars is, is a very fresh, very new company. Uh, we, we have about four years of real existence in the market. And in four years, we, we, we got quite some achievements. So we started building the little sister guitar. This is our original. Yeah, sure, thank you. I'm this very excited is... to touch it because I've been looking at this from a lot. <laughs> so the, the little sister is the... Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Is the original concept of B&G, which is basically an electric parlor. So the neck shape is an acoustic neck. The body is, co is carved from mahogany and with a solid maple cap glued onto it. So it really resonates like an acoustic guitar. The tailpiece is built and printed to resonate as a harp effect. It gives a lot of wetness. Of, it's like having a spring reverb on board on the guitar. So you, you look at this guitar and you understand the reason why. It's a blues-inspired guitar. It's a traditional root style. Um, and many little details. Nothing is standard purchased off the shelf. This we do, this we do. The bridge looks like an ABR, but actually the, um, the alloy that we use is a different exclusive for us. So you make the bridge as well? Uh, oh, is, 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 is it ABR? Is an, is, an, is an ABR design, but ah. made with a different alloy. Okay. Either on, on the import line, the Crossroads line, and in our private build uh, line in Israel, we actually mill the, 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 the bridge in-house uh, from a solid piece of brass. Wow, I like these little attentions to detail because I'm a little bit tired of seeing beautiful guitars and then using the same jack plates or the I know that's these tiny little things, but it, it matters. It, you know, it, it matters. It, it tells you about the personality of the guitar. So it, to, to, to explain the concept, we have basically two levels. We have the private built instruments, which are handmade in Tel Aviv using golden era techniques. We only use hide glue, we use um, uh, uh, aged uh, dried uh, wood mahogany, we will only use Honduran mahogany, we use solid maple tops, we have stacks. Can we show the depth on that maple top? Because you can see it in the F hole. Yeah, the depth, uh, the depth is uh, about uh, four, four and a half millimeters. But not just that, but the way that the, you've painted or, or you know, you've, you've dealt with that, it's not... Sometimes you can see rough bits in the F-holes, you know what I mean? No, People, no, but the, that's the, a really good job. And consider that this one is not the private build instrument. This, so the private build instruments uh, uh, range from, um, let's say, anywhere depending on the finish, from $3,700 and up. Okay, before you give us the price of this one, I'm going to ask the people at home to make a little guess. How much do you think this one is? Okay. Three, two, one. This one streets in Europe for uh, 1,650 euros, including local VAT. So, I mean, it's there's a hell of a lot of guitar for the money. I've just seen the piece of gold behind the, behind the pickup there. Uh, this is actually the Trash Road cover. Oh, wow. Yeah, you, you just unscrew these two little things here and you have uh, a sprocket wheel so you can just oh, fantastic. drop in a needle and use the one-way traditional truss road, just meant for the vintage style. Sure. What am I holding here? So What you're holding here is the first... I'll put that back for you. Hang on. There you Thank go. you. What you're holding here, what I'm holding here right now, is the first um, prototype of the stepsister crossroads. So the stepsister is the, the mean girl in the family. Uh, she, she has a flat headstock, 22 frets instead of 20, the neck joints at the 16 fret instead of the 14 fret. So this is the, the rock and roll machine. This is an old mahogany, so it still is a carved body, 
but the top is glued on in mahogany. Same pickups with the brass cover, but this is nickel plated. This is the rock and roll girl in the family. So and you said crossroads. What does crossroads mean? Crossroads is the, the, the well, crossroads for, for a blues player means a hell of a lot of things. But in, in the B&G family, crossroads means the um, non-private built lines, means the import lines. Okay. The ones that are built on our specifications, but offshore, partly in China, partly in Korea. Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, it, it's kind of the name of the line. Sure, sure. Now I get it. I've, I've seen it around a lot and I had never really understood what it was. Yes. Do you I, have any of the, the non-crosses, the, the higher end that you've got? Yes. Can we take a look? So you, Let's do something, two guitars that are very, very different one from the other. Okay, okay. We have, this is the little sister cedar of Lebanon. This is hand built in Israel and the top is a cedar of Lebanon top. The finish is shellac, it's like um, an old violin. Yeah, I can see it, it looks... Open pour, ultra light nitro open pour finish. This is a... Can we take a look at the back from it? The, for the viewers of the channel that have seen my On The Bench series, I've taken a few uh, Les Pauls from the Authentic Company and I've done that to them by taking the, the finishing off. And mine has never looked as good as that, of course, because it's not my, uh, my forte, but that's the sort of look that I love. I don't see why anyone would put a finish on such a beautiful piece of wood. Yeah, it's, um, this is a very unique uh, finish. With, uh, it's the, kind of the only satin finish we use. And also we don't lacquer the brass covers and the brass hardware because we want this kind of rusty look. Actually, we put these parts on, on, on the balcony of one of our employees who lives in the front, front seashore of Tel Aviv and that's the, the Mediterranean breeze that actually eats up <laughs> the, the brass. This is the stepsister with a Zericoat top. And it's not only a Zericoat top, uh, there's more. This is actually a full-size maple top. Mm -hmm. Then we countersunk it looks, yeah, it's inlaid, yeah? It's inlaid. It is a 2.5 millimeters uh, Zericoat uh, foil inlaid into the maple. It's, 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 it's an incredible work. So to clear that up, it, this is not a binding. No. This is a maple top routed that out to 2.5 millimeters, you say? 2.5 millimeters. And then Zircon in top. Yes. Wow. It's pretty impressive. It's pretty impressive. And that's how you've got a really clean, oh, let's look at the back for a moment. That's uh, very shiny. Yeah. Also, what's the finish on this? N is everything made in Tel Aviv is everything is nitro. Okay. Let's look at the F holes for a moment because they're extremely clean. Because of, uh, is that sunk in there? So you've cut that through and you haven't stuck some maple in there. Exactly. It is the maple from it the is, top. Yeah. The, the, whole, the whole top is one piece maple. Beautiful. And we hand wound our P90s and our humbuckers um, and you can order it you can order the, the pickups to your liking, a completely unpotted or lightly potted, depending on how much gain you're used to play with, how, how loud you're used mm. to play with. And yeah, again, this is, has... It's, it's very musical, yeah. Yeah, it, it really... Do it again, do it again. It really resonates while you're playing. Uh, it, it's part of the richness of the tone. So. This is, this is the Stepsister Zirico the top. I'm very excited to actually finally get a B&G sort of in my hands. I'm going to play it a little bit in a moment just for my own personal um, <laughs> enjoyment. Ignacio, thank you so much for your time. It's been a pleasure. Thank you for stopping by and enjoy the rest of the show. Okay, bye everybody.